I thank you so much for waiting. Oh, you're welcome, man. Look at that. Look at the threads oh. on that. Yeah, we're ready now. It's not the fanciest thing I could have come up with, but it will do for our trip to Armadillo. Mm -hmm. Sure. Uh, you may have to lead the way because I don't know how to get of there. Of course, either. follow me. All right. Is there anything you want to do or just looking around? I, I just want to meet new folk, see who's around, see what's going on, see what the culture of a, a place is. I got to Blackwater. Almost instantly, uh, there was someone talking about like, women this typical women diet, and I thought, oh dear, oh, not no. diet, not today, thank you. To Armadillo, let's go! Right. Ooh, a buffalo. Looks like a rock. Look at uh, these beasts. They look They're like huge. rocks from far away. They're so huge. Just think of how much meat you could get off that. To the right. <laughs> This is terrifying. No, no rattling. Never done this. Look, the train is coming this way. It just hasn't made it all the way over. It's just not made its way yet. Or it's a way to take the train off the track if you should ever want to take it through the countryside. That sounds like a lovely idea. Yet we debated one time on how to get the tram off the tracks in town so we could take it to Strawberry. People were wanting to go there. We would have to put a board on the tracks, I think, there in town and wash the wheels off so that we could get the tram loose. This way, I believe. Ooh, all right. 
Gotta go right in the ranch and then through the grasslands and down the cliff. But we don't go off the cliff, just down. Ah, not off. Terrifying. Yes, please do not go off the cliff. No. Uh, which way? Uh, really don't know how to get to Armadillo. This is... I don't come out west. Is that cactuses? Yes. Don't run into them. You don't want to greet them. Mm, there's gonna be snakes with legs here. Snakes with legs. Snakes without legs. And the other things. It's the cat with the claws that the I'm afraid of. snakes that fly too. you can harvest back there. Um, yes, this is you said that. Oh, yes. Yeah. Um, I believe they have been um, first with the sad. Oh. Do you know what I mean? Oh yeah, I think I think I think I do. I the sad to see things which should not be there, and beyond that, across time and space, and and the realms of polygonal deficit. But now things seem to be clear. The dust has in fact come out of my eyeballs. Hello there. How do? How do? Mm, how do you do? Howdy, how y'all doing? I'm doing oh, how well. Do? How are you? 
Uh, pretty good, pretty oh. good. Yeah. Oh, good. Doors locked. Yeah, what brings y'all in the armadillo today? Well, we just start traveling through, just seeing sights and sounds. I hadn't been this far west yet. Jeb. Uh, got anything of it? interest around here a nice saloon uh yeah there's a nice saloon right up the street uh got workers in there right now so why don't y'all go ahead and get y'all some uh, eat drink strong oh that sounds, that sounds wonderful nice. mm -hmm. uh, well, i hope y'all enjoy your stay oh well thank you very much we appreciate it uh my name is eustace eustace dustin bag this is my wife elviny eustace and you said elviny elviny it's got a vine in it yeah Fine, gotcha. My name is Marcy Harrison. I'm a ranger out here in New Austin. Ah, well, nice to meet you. Uh, is New Austin a nice town? Is it quiet and peaceful, or is there a lot of robberies around town? Uh, well, here on Medilla, there ain't really been too many robberies. Uh, I mean, they're all robberies in New Austin as a whole, but, you know, we try to keep that down to a minimum. New Austin's a very big place. It's the it's the, it's the entire West. This is Armadillo. Yeah. Ah, okay. Yeah, we uh rangers over all New Austin, so pretty oh. much anything uh to the west of the Morgan River or Montana River, I think is what it's called. These are fresh yeah. tracks. The big area. Yeah, I'm the Duke of Armadillo. Oh, Chauncey oh. Bristol. Probably heard of me. You haven't, but now I have. Okay, yeah, I'm the Duke. Welcome to Armadillo. Well, Is anything you need? Much. I'm your guide. I'm a great man. Smart man. Capable man. I'm a, I'm a grandfather, a great-grandfather. But not a great-grandfather. I don't have any grandkids. Great-grandkids. I'm just a great. You're just uh, great all over, right? That's right, smart man, brilliant man. This is, oh. uh, you have met Marcy. He's doing great things. Everybody knows that everybody's heard all of his great deals. Oh, uh, what kind of deals? He's a lawman. Yeah, I make lick on side. Yeah, he makes our liquor. Great Ooh. man, great, great knowledge. He's a wealth of information, much like all the residents of Armadillo. Well, liquor's a good skill to have. I agree. Always I in agree. demand. Yeah, I'm I'm just a retired uh, tram driver from St. Denis. Oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, train driver? How's that? Uh, tr tram driver. I'm uh, retired. Yeah, they have a little tram there in, inside the town. It's kind of small, and it runs on a track similar to a train. Oh, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we would um, mm -hmm. uh, take people around on tram and give tram tours, uh, Elvani and I. Is that the thing that goes ding, 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 ding? Uh, yeah, it, it goes does. toot, toot. Oh, it goes toot, toot. And ding, ding? Yes. Mm -hmm. My God. They got everything over there in St. Denis. Such a great place. Well, the tram, Saint -Denis. Tr the tram drivers are currently on strike, so they're not running the trams uh, at the moment. Oh. That's why That's I'm retired. There's, there's a lot happening well, in that town all the time. All the time. Yeah, I go there, I get yelled at. It's loud, oh. screaming, gunshots, people dying in the streets, blood in the skies, profanities laced the air. It's a great town. It sounds Welcome like a to one. Armadillo, by the way. I'm Duke, if you need anything. All right. All right. Well, I'll get out y'all here. Welcome. I hope y'all enjoy your stay while you're here. Yeah, thank, thank you for the friendly welcome here. Yes, yeah, thank you for the course. welcome. It's nice to meet you, Moss. Yeah, of course. Uh, if y'all need anything, just don't hesitate to ask, all right? All right, we will. We appreciate Alrighty. it. All right. Y'all be safe now. Hi, did I? Hello, do you feel all right, Skit? Eyes feeling okay, still full of dust. Yeah. Oh, there are right now. Thank you for asking. I was just good. I was just uh, taking in the sights of the town. Did you meet someone there? So that man was talking to you. Oh, yeah, he's a ranger for all of New Austin, the whole area, but he's here in Armadillo right now, but he's keeping the streets safe. 
sort of like a sheriff, but of the whole county. Oh, oh wow. Yeah. Jeez, that's quite a lot of areas to cover, isn't it? That's a lot of space. Right, oh yes. Should we explore the town? Sure. Yeah. Um, yeah Let's do it. They said someone was working in the saloon right now, if you're interested in a bite to eat or a beverage or anything. Not completely forgot to bring money again. I think I've actually oh, got nice. food and drink. If you need if you need anything, let me know. Uh, hold on, let me look. I've got... I've, yes, I've still got a little bit of food and I've got some coffee. Oh, I'm, I always say to myself, I'm too... Too young to drink that coffee. Your tea what, name? I'm too young to drink the coffee. I like tea instead. Yep. But you are too young, Eustace. You are. Mm -hmm. uh, it's, an acquired, it's an acquired taste, oh. I would assume. Uh, a lot of people like it with cream and sugar for that coffee. Oh, thank you for that, Elvani. I could not accept that. Please, no, take yes, it back. You, you take that. You got me the coffee the other day, and you were very kind to us and helped us out when we didn't have any cash on us, and I know how that is. Yeah, so you keep thank that. You. We'll look around the town. Oh, wait just a second. I'll give him something, too. We don't have to do that. There you go. It's just some candy. Oh, thank you. Thank you for the day. I'm going to eat that night. I like candy in my pocket, so uh, it's good to have a little candy of sweets. Mmm, that's good. Mm -hmm. Do you know they give free candy at the, at the hospital over in San Denis? If you've been they a patient do. there. Yes, they had a sign up. Free candy for patients. Only for patients now. It's kind of almost worth getting hurt to get the candy name. Mm -hmm. uh, you walk in the door and it's going to be on the left. So uh, you, when you go see the doctor, ask for the free candy. Uh, all right. I'll say I've been bit by a snake or something. Can Ooh, I have any, the candy? Anything. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, let's explore the town. I'll just be a man. All right, sure. Oh, there's an undertaker here. People that need to be taken under. Mm, uh, is, uh, I wonder if that place is open. It's luck. Oh. It never hurts to look for something for Mother. Well, look at this place. Look at this. Hello? Anyone, anyone working? Anyone in there? Hello, is anyone in there? I don't think I like this room. Lord. I don't know if anybody's gonna have gun duel around here. I mean, I don't... I wouldn't have a problem with it, but uh, I don't know if that's sanctioned. Yeah, I don't even have anybody. This one has a little plaque on the front. Get one for mother and it. No, say. that's too expensive. We need something cheaper. No, we get one like this for mother with a plaque on the front, and we right, we have it engraved to say "Knock loudly" on the front. John Blake. Don't knock at all is what I would say. Ooh. Yeah, no, they, they, they just call me the Duke. Yep. Yeah. A little pharmacy in there looks like. Lives, okay? You take them, take some, and you lose some. Huh? Different medications. Oh, interesting place. <laughs> Uh, 
gunsmith is next door. Grocer. Okay. Say benches are, yeah, the benches are occupied. Oh, okay. Mm, how do you do? How do? Just as they have foot tickling wands in here. What in the world? Foot tickling wands? Here, look. You get your shoes off and I'll tickle your toes. No, you, 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 you keep those fingers away from my feet. They're foot tickling ones, no, right? That's, no, no. They are. No. I have to ask Skip. We'll get a confirmation on all this. Uh, you're not tickling my feet with those things. No, no, no. Well, why not? So, I, mean, I just, I was in my head, so to speak, and I just needed to um, work through some parts that I was having. Have you just given any bit burn about this time? They have foot tickling wands in here if you want to see them. Foot tickling wands? Yes, look at this. Oh, well, they must have some real kinky people in this. That's right, you get your shoes off, get one of these going, and oh my goodness. Foot tickling wands. A curious thing. Yeah. Well, keep, yeah. Keep those away from my feet. No, no. What about you, Ervani? Do you appreciate a foot tickling one? Yes. I don't think they're no. a bad thing. What's that? You, you like your feet tickled? I don't know. We have to try the wand. It's not with, not with fingers, but maybe a wand. I don't know. Tickling wand, you never know. It's definitely in fashion, though. There's so many of them available. Definitely in fashion, I guess, uh, since they have um, a whole row of it's them. It's going right around. There. Wait, I wonder if it's these. a range that they have. They have different strength of well, ticklishness. Different lengths of wand and such. Yeah, yes. Yeah, it could be. You may want to tickle someone's feet from another room. You have to get one custom made. A nice long wand with a little feather on the end like this. Yes, of course. Uh, sir, how much is a uh, tickling wand? How much is a tickling wand? Oh. Did he tell you, Eustace? Did he tell you? How much, Eustace? A dollar. You need to put a price on them. A dollar? And the small it's one's much. a dollar. It's too much. If you have a dollar, you could just tickle someone's feet with a dollar. You don't even need to buy one. That's true. That is large good money. What are you at, sir? They need to be about 15 cents. Yeah, overpriced. Perhaps you should run against me, Fairvani. I think you'd be the perfect person to tell people about how guns work. I mean, to customize guns. I mean, to talk about ammunition and, and so on and so forth. Don't you think you'd be the perfect person to sell guns? Uh, I don't know. I don't know the first thing about any of them whatsoever, though. But we can try. I could try. I'll have to read about it. I would love while. to see. I would love if you owned your own guns, Smith. Uh, I 
Hi, welcome to the Gunsmith. I'm glad you were able to make it in today. What can I help you with? Is there anything that you would like or prefer? I was wondering if you could tell me about the um the the shot caliber of a double barrel shot gun and the uh the strength that might have. It's two different holes in a shotgun and they go all the way through. They start at one end and they go out the other. It's how they're made. But as far as the caliber, I don't know. It's, you just take your finger and you use it as a sizer to see what size the, the tube is. And then from there, you know what you need to buy. You just mark it on your finger and you bring it in. And you hold your finger out and you say, I need one about this size right here for my gun. Uh, it's, very, it's very scientific here. So, so, so you need a gun barrel that you can put your finger in. Well, I wouldn't recommend always doing that. Make sure it's nice and clean and that it's not got anything in it and all that stuff. But if you're in the middle of cleaning and it's your gun and you understand it and you know that it's clear, then just measure it. Measure it. And you can draw it on a piece of paper. I want this size right here and I'll hold it up and we'll see if we can find it. Or if you bring your entire gun, I can try putting it in there. We'll see. We'll make it work. Now, if I was to say if I was feeling real lazy and I wanted to cook some food, say if I got a, you know, some steak and I shot that with my double barreled shotgun, yeah. would that cook the meat instantaneously or would that, would that just uh, pulverize the, just disintegrate the meat? Sounds like it could work. I don't know. I haven't tried it yet. But so it, also, it could be used in the kitchen? It could be a kitchen utensil of sorts. I would make sure to face it away from things that I didn't want to hold in, however. So, so I was wondering as well, if you don't mind, if we were, maybe if you put some benevolent than ammunition inside the shut. So, you know, maybe if you wanted to become a makeup artist, could you put makeup in there so that you could Ooh. point it at someone's face and, and apply makeup that way? You could. You could do both eyes at one time with eyeshadow because there's two little holes, one for each oh. eye. Oh. Sorry, Eustace, you were going to ask a question as well. So, so, so ma'am, uh, uh, I'm 72 years old. I don't know if my wrinkles... Uh, uh, shows my age or not, but... Uh, it's all right. We'll accept you. Uh, it's all okay. right. Um, and so my question is, um, it's so hard to pull the trigger on a gun, and uh, and oh, and I don't like really carrying a gun. Uh, so I was wondering, um, uh, can, can you... Uh, I have a gun that uh, and it doesn't hurt people, but uh, pulls out a little flag that says bang on it or something. Oh, like a like a trick gun, the kind that they would use at some sort of some sort of a mm -hmm. carnival or something. Yeah, like that. yeah, yeah. It's uh, very lightweight. Uh, uh, pulling the trigger doesn't really hurt you, uh, but uh, a little flag pops out and says "bang." There is a possibility of that, but uh, we, we have to get the little flag in there. Though getting the little flag in is not the easy part. It's hard. Maybe we could have for people like me instead of a little a little thing that says bang. Maybe we could have a rainbow flag that comes out. Ooh, I like the sound of that. I like where this is headed. The the the, <laughs> the <laughs> some people might call that the gay agenda. That's such a bad. <laughs> <laughs> oh my. I'm bisexual, man. Oh, yes, we know. We accept all. That was a really bad joke. Well, if it was that bad, we, we should uh, step on down to the very uh, last store down here. Uh, so, uh, you want to show him that last store, or that first store that we went into? The, the one with the boxes. I would love to see the box. Yeah, uh, so, so, um, uh.
Where's the box? Oh, down this way. joke is that bad it can be um, you know uh, you can bear yourself with it your stars Are these time capsule boxes that you bury when you put your precious things inside i think so someone's already put flowers in this one they're intending to keep Sort of oh, maybe it's a, a seed, a, a seed bank. So they, if say, you know, all the plants should die during a harsh summer uh, drought, we have the seeds. Seed storage, foot ticklers, makeup applicators. What else will we find in this town today? Mm -hmm. Armadillo has it all. Definitely don't look in the uh, side room over here. Caution, don't look. Mm, it looks fine. This is just where they're prepping the little storage boxes to store things in underground. Yes, it's fine. And you don't see the stains on the table? There's no stains on the table. It looks fine. It's just the wood. It's the, the wood from the cutting the of the red boxes. Stain. It's hard to see the stains. It's very dark, and I do not have a lantern. And then there's a uh, uh, bloody uh, saw over here. That's rust. It's rusted. Someone got that wet, and they forgot to dry it. I think it's rust. What are the books on how to store things? Storage box. There's one right there at the top. Storage boxes and their ultimate use. That's a nice book to have in here. Yeah, yes. Why? Gorgeous treaty. They've got it all in Armadillo. They have it all. Everything you could need, makeup, tickling, storage. We haven't even made it to the end of the street yet. I was thinking you were Pharmacologically. Oh, what is that? Pharmacologically. Let's look. Only okay. bad drugs make you sick. Open almost 24 hours, it says. Oh. Almost. Oh, look at this. They have lights and joy. All sorts of things. Letter here. I don't know why there's got a diagram of a penis on the wall. Well, who can say? Maybe that's what it's all about here at this store. Or is that a, a, a the brain in a giant eyeball? No, it couldn't be. I think that's the penis. Never seen a brain. Sad way view. Yeah, yeah, that sounds more like it. It sounds like what they're about. I, f I did hear <laughs> about eyes road easy through the work at the manor. Ooh. Maybe yeah. these chemicals are another way of getting the mines post. You know, stood up. It could be. You never know. They may have to come here and try. They haven't tried this method before. It's going to look like we're shopping here and you're behind the counter and people are going to start talking. People will be back in San Denis saying, yeah, they were there. They were looking for that little medicine that everybody's mm -hmm. looking for. Mm -hmm. no. the, the youth medicine to take the wrinkles out of my face. Taking the wrinkles out of it, yeah. Yeah. Oh, 
some years ago when it was illegal to talk back then. If you talked in this town, you got into trouble, it seemed. If you talked, that you would get yes. into trouble? Yes, that's what it seemed mm, like. How do you do? Howdy. Well, how do you? This rhymes at very poor speed. Yes. We offer you some advice. You must moisturize. Yeah, one of those got... little makeup applicators inside if you're interested. Both at yeah, yes. one time. I, f I do believe that he is not moisturizing after he's had a bath. Mm, yeah, that's probably the thing. Fancy seeing you new here. Is it? Let's see if we get shot for talking. Yeah. 